Hey guys, so this is our Tesla Model 3 and Kenny has a project to do today. So what is your agenda today? My agenda is to put on some seat covers um, for a couple of reasons. One is to protect the interior of course, but the other one is since summer is coming along, um, I chose white. Uh, that way, seats won't get so hot in the summer. So this was uh, purchased on Amazon. Um, I don't remember the company name, but we'll certainly put that in the descriptions below. And that is the sheet that came with it. I scanned that, brought me into a YouTube video. And so as I go along, I'm gonna be watching the YouTube video to see how to install this thing. Right. We'll see how it goes. Okay, oh, so that, that would tell me right there. So that's the front. And then... That's a seat back of the front seat. Seat back of the front. And then the, the back portion. Seat, flip it. There. Okay. So we're... Yeah, so for, for me personally, there, when you look at the various covers, I wanted something that would cover the entire back. Um, some of the seat covers come, so they just come to, they just come to this seam, just the way the original interior is. And some may prefer that. They may like to have the original back. Um, for me, I just prefer to have the whole seat covered, protect the whole thing. So after a few years, I'll remove these and I'll have new seats still. Great. Here's the overview of the car, guys, before seat and seat cover installation. And battery. And here is the back side. Alright, so first thing I did was I put the seats all the way forward because I want to um, undo a flap that's underneath here. And there's a couple straps under here see, that I'm going to find. Connected. There they are, you can see. Okay, so we can see there's a couple straps that are connected at the bottom. I'm just gonna come bring this up. Just tuck it in here. The same process in the other side. Yeah, because I have the seats up. Mm -hmm. Got a ways. Just slowly but surely. Mm -hmm. That's all I'm doing. You can see it's getting in there. Mm -hmm. I have to put my you have gloves? special installation gloves on. Oh, nice. So that it won't get dirty.
It's part of the package. One, one size fits all. It's part of the package. Yes, it was. There we go. So the front, for the front seats, I put the um, bottoms on first. When you look at the bottoms, you have these two straps that when once they're on, you connect them like this across. And then you have these that have elastic on and in the front too. So what I do, is I end up doing a crisscross underneath with the two elastic straps. That way you're pulling front to back plus side to side to hold it on all as well as you can. And then the elastic straps, this is how they come. They're just with nothing. And you put the hooks on. The hooks just have a little opening right there. So I put it on the front because I know I can. But in the back, I need to stick it through a small area, so I'll put those on later. So we're just going to Tip the seat all the way up so then I can see a little bit, see as much as possible. And that's what you have to do, you know, you kind of just play with it and um, keep moving the seat around to make it easiest on you. There's no, as you're installing the various pieces, I don't think there's really a way that you could just leave the seat. So now we can see we got these straps just like we wanted. 
Now this is this is what I'm talking about. You'd be really tempted just to pull that. And you really shouldn't. You should pull this instead. And then we have this one, which we'll bring around here. And then this one is on the side. And these are the ones that I will add the hooks to once it's all installed. And as you're installing, you gotta watch out for this, this kind of stuff. The, the original wires for the from the Tesla for the seats. You don't, you don't want to damage any of that. So that's about as far as you really need to pull it. And I'm just gonna check. So you gotta split that open and hold it all at the same time. It's not really that fun. Once you get it on, or started, then you can pull it through. And then it's easier. That's all there is to it. I see the hook. There it is. There it is. You can put it in, in the beginning, like while it's not installed yet? Well, I did on the front. <laughs> But because there's such small space oh, to get through here, it might I thought it up. would be better if yeah. I just did it after. Wherever I knew I could, I, I installed the hooks. And after you do a few, you get a little better at it. And there, it takes a few minutes. So that I'm going to go up there. And now these are the ones that I'm going to put up there, and it, it's going to be in a in a diagonal. So they're going to crisscross in there. But first, we're going to connect these, and we'll tighten those. I'm just trying to think which side of the wire. I think I'll have it on this side. So you can okay so these front straps here I'm gonna feed them underneath now when you do it you do have to look underneath to see where the, what the straps are going to um, hit when once they're tightened so on this side same on that side there's a it, I think it's a little motor for the move the seats and you don't want to just slap that over the top because there's going to be pressure on these and you could break that motor over time so you want to make sure that when you're all done that the motor is free and it's not there's not pressure from the straps and I can't really show that but hopefully you're smart enough to look at it there are a lot of wires and connectors, so you want to make sure that the straps aren't going to damage anything. Because remember, this seat's going to move, too. All right. So I pull this out. Okay. And now I have the two straps. You pull it out? Yep, I pulled it right through. And I, I know that um, I don't have anything that's going to damage any of the wires. So then I'm going to put it through here. That middle one. And then I'm going to put it in here. And then when you tighten, 
you pull it that way. Now I'm not going to tighten it all the way. I'm just going to tighten it a little bit. And if you if you um, if you do need to release it, it's pretty simple. I'll show you on this one. All you got to do, uh, it's going to be up like this. All you got to do is pull it like this, and it will release. And you can pull them all the way out if you want. So I'm going to. interesting I'm gonna pull them a little tight but not all the way and remember you want to pull away from you now that I have those a little tight straps going across here so it's holding it in place so now what I want to do is I want to tuck this into here to make sure so that it, everything is um, exposed. You'll see what I mean in a minute. So this comes with the kit. But start it with your fingers because this is kind of sharp and you could damage something, damage the vinyl. Or what do they call it? They try to call it as another name, so it sounds like leather. <laughs> but even if you see this advertised as leather, it is not leather. It's a man-made material, just like Tesla seats are. This is not leather. So then once you got it started, then you can kind of just pull it in here or push it in there. And as you tighten things, you're gonna to have to push it in there again. But at least it started. Great. So now I'm just gonna have a look and make sure before I tighten this that it's not going to interfere with any of the wiring or anything down there or that little motor. One of these, I'm gonna change around a little bit because it is, it is touching. Anyways, it is touching a group of wires that I don't think would harm anything, but it's better safe than sorry. So I'm just gonna release this. And I'm going to reroute it a little bit. Some wires the same way. So, I said this strap over here also seems to be hitting some some wires too when I trip when I tighten it down. So I'm gonna reroute that one as well.
much any better. This one, where did it go? Connected to something. Okay, that's fine. As long as I know where it is. All right, now I may need some help with you handing these to me. the two elastic straps crisscrossing and then the, the one with the, the buckle or whatever you call it um, I, t I tighten those at, at the end and now I'm going to put the back on to do that it's easiest if you start off putting it all the way back like this we'll slide it on and then once we have it slid on and the tabs underneath here then I'll bring it back up And then you also, from side to side, you'll see that there's a little airbag tag because the Tesla's, the Model 3 does have an airbag that comes out. And this has special stitching so that if the airbag would ever deploy, it just blows out the side of the seat cover. Um, there is, there are YouTube videos that you can actually see someone tried it, deployed an airbag, and it worked great. And then something I forgot before you put it on 
You also want to make sure this is not zipped up. We zip that at the very end. And when you zip it, you be very careful that there's not too much pressure on it. If there's too much pressure, you don't have the seat cover on right. Is that tab in there? Mm -hmm. It is? Great. Stick this all in here. And then once it's once it's on most of the way, then we can bring this up and make adjustments, and it's easier to get the seat to fit. So now that we have that through, we can see our pieces. The one here, I'm gonna pull on it. We have the two side ones. We're gonna pull those and that's gonna tighten everything. Now this one's separate because you have that group of wires there. Pull on that. I'm just gonna tighten as much as we can this way. There. These wrinkles will start coming out over time. You can see the one I did about a half hour ago. This one's already starting to unwrinkle. It just takes a little time. So now, this one, simply, we're gonna tighten it down by pulling. And ultimately, this comes up. It has Velcro. And it connects to here. And then we're going to take these straps and we're going to connect them to the front. And that's it. And what I also found is I can get it tighter if I bring this, now that I pulled it that far, if I bring this seat back, then I connect the Velcro. Um, and then it seems to tighten itself up. The front of this is down below. There's a there's a, a, a bracket or it's what the seat mounts to, and I just put a zip tie around there. I connected the two to the zip tie, and then I tightened the zip tie. That way, it has a I don't know, I just couldn't find a good spot under, underneath the seat to really hook those things into that I thought they were gonna stay and not really damage anything. So that was my solution. Seems to work.
is it for this. Now this is where you want to pull these together as you're zippering. So then there's not a bunch of pressure. And so you can see this is already starting to straighten out. And what, you have, what you have to remember, you know, you see zippers here and you see some wrinkles, is this is not upholstery, this is a seat cover. So I think, particularly once this straightens out, I think that this looks really nice as far as being a seat cover. I think it has a really, it has a pretty good fit compared to um, seat covers that I've had on other cars. So, so far, so good. There's the front. What's the challenge you encountered? Say that again. What's the biggest challenge you encountered? Um, figuring out how to have all of the straps connect underneath. Not, not the straps that have like the buckle or the, the pull. That was, those are really easy. All you have to do is make sure that um, they're not going to ride or over time wear out on wires or anything. But the ones with the, those hooks, I think it's kind of tough to get them connected. And I really think that they could have simply put the same type of um, connector on the front and the back and then you just crisscrossed them went front to front front to back and you could have eliminated the hooks completely and i i think that would have been much easier to install and tighten too and then uh i don't really know what the solution is but the whole thing where you're pulling that out and then you're trying to connect it to velcro i'm not really crazy about that idea either but it's how I've seen other seat covers do it too, so I don't really know what the, the solution on that is. Okay, so in order to do that, there's a small hole here. You need to put something in there and push, and at the same time push here, and then it, then you can pull it up. Okay, so I have the headrest on. I'm going to pull this back seat out the bottom to see how the seat belts all work. So on the back seat, there's a release um, kind of in the middle, two sides. So if you stick your hand right underneath, you can, after a while you'll feel it 
So there it is. I pushed it that way. So you're gonna push it towards the doors. And as soon as you push the two, it should snap out. Oh, interesting. Um, this one to release pushes this way. This one pushes that way too. So then after you do that, you just pull it out. Now the thing is, is there's with these seats, there's normally some type of a wire that's connected. So before you rip the seat out, you want to look for any connectors. I don't see any there. Oh, I see one. It might one. be right over here. Yeah, right there. Yep. Look on this side too. I think I need to get out. Yep, there's a wire here. So, let's see how this disconnects. What you do? Well, there's so on there. There's a little tab here. You got to push, and then you pull the wires apart. Anytime that you're working with with these things, you got to really look at how they come apart. So you see on here, there's the tab. I pushed that back, and then I pulled it, and that's where it came out of. So when I put it back in, all I got to do is plug it in. And it's going to snap shut. I don't have to worry about pushing that at all. And you said there's a wire over there too? Yeah, same. It's the white one. Looks like it's the same. Looks like it's the same it's connector, the same. just smaller. And it was. So again, you can see this one's smaller though. Push that in, and it came right out of there. So there's the seat. So this is probably what can make people the most nervous. <laughs> <laughs> now, let's bolt it in. See how that's orange? Mm -hmm. That means there's a bunch of electricity going in there. So you gotta be careful with stuff like that. If I looked at the Tesla manual, I could figure out what that is. I'm sure other people that might watch this will know right away. Okay, so it's just got that one seat belt. Be. Well, that's how it is. It's through the zipper. That's how we get around the seat belt. I thought maybe I had to release something. Apparently not. So we can see that this is going to be similar to the front seat where we're going to put these tabs through there and it's going to end up being Velcro and we're going to zipper it up again when this zippers. Uh, you got to be so careful to make sure that there's not a bunch of pressure on there.
apparently this material, that Velcro, sticks really well. <laughs> I don't know if that's will help or hinder this whole process. Let's find out. Oh, that's tight. Fingers. I wish I could just take like a pliers and pull it. But, uh, I know that would rip it.
good thing is we don't have this on the other side. We just have this. Oh, nice. Let's see. Starting to go in. Why don't you bring it forward a little? There you go. There you go. Right there. A little bit more. Okay, stop. Oh, I see it. Okay, bring it forward more. Got a piece of it. There you go. Keep doing that just a little bit. Good. Good. There. There's a technique. Just like. Yep, that is a technique. <laughs> Good. Yay. So now you just gotta get the other side. So let's see if we can start. Oh, let me pull this up a little bit more. There. I think this needs to go over here more. Yeah, it does. It's wrinkled. Okay. All right, but what was I gonna do? Oh yeah. I'm gonna see if I can start this zipper. And this here. Yeah, that's I'm not worried. I can take care of that at the very end. I can see this zipper would be really easy to break. Okay, the seat back is zero just the way it's supposed to be. So let's see. good or not. Does that look right to you? Or do you think that's supposed to be up uh. more? Is it, no, what I mean, do you think that metal part oh, is supposed to be in yeah. there more? Well, let's just find out. It's better to try again. Just to make yeah, sure. Yeah, it has to like locked, tapped. Yeah, I think it was like off. Like a couple zipper notches. There, I think I got this. There. There. Now it so looks it right. It has to be aligned. Yeah. see how should I zipper it all the way up I think I think so watch out for that 
orange thing. And see, this is where people can break this really easy because you'll just and you gotta go, there's so much pressure on this. You gotta go really slow to make sure. Cause I'm sure they didn't put the top notch zippers in these things. Okay, so I'm just gonna go that far because this has to Velcro into there. You know what I mean? No idea if that's tight enough or not. We'll find out when we put it up. But at least we'll stop it from moving back down again. So then we can readjust. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So let's see how it looks. Go here. So you can see there's a wrinkle here still. And this side looks like it's okay. It's just, there. it just needs to kind of wear in. There you go. All right, so this side is the one I gotta fix. Seat belt. Just doesn't want to be cooperative, does it? <laughs> it's kind of bulky there. Must be bleeding. Okay. I think. <laughs> wow, that's not very fun. Oh, my back is just killing me. doesn't want to stay in there. Oh, it has to wrap around. Yeah, it, it will. It just has, you got to get the tight side first and then the rest will go. Careful because it'll rip. It's supposed to be hard. Well, you can see how far it's got to stretch though because the holes were so small. Oh. So. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
think that's about as yeah. I think that's about as good as it's gonna get. Yeah. I can just it will see if I can tighten it down a little bit and then leave it. It just got wrinkled from hitting this. So. Well, there's a. If you want to look, this is crooked. Same on both sides. I don't know why it would be, but we'll see. Looks decent. Right. like a headrest. <laughs> you can actually stick that in. See? It's not... Just leave it alone so that it won't break. Mm -hmm. Just leave it crooked. Yeah. Before it will break. Now, I think I can pull this over a little bit now. Or should I just leave it? Yeah, it will fix itself over Just time it. yeah looking great yeah it's not like anyone sits back here anyways. it's not fun it looks all right it'll look decent once this comes out it'll look fine oh all right so now let's do the back the bottom seat so I can do it in there or I can do it out here. Out here. Easier. So now I have a workbench. <laughs> I don't have to bend so far. Alright, so it's the back. Can you lift that, hon? It's not that heavy. I'm gonna slide this under. Oh, I use all those muscles. There you go. Okay, set it down. Great.
these are seat belt sensors back here. These wires. finished um, I'm pretty satisfied with the package that came in um, I, told, I was telling my wife earlier that I only paid $169 for this um, through Amazon and so that was pretty inexpensive um, compared to a lot of the other kits um, you know there's some things that aren't perfect but they're seat covers they're not it's not a new upholstery job um, it's, the front seats, I think, fit the best compared to the back, um, which is great because that's what I use the most. That's all I have. <laughs> What's the biggest challenge or difficulty that you encountered overall? Um, the biggest challenge is knowing the, the order um, of how everything goes together because uh, the video that was provided um, it's pretty basic. There's not there's not a whole lot of detail. So hopefully, anyone that would order this, they could. This video will help you um, in the order that you would do it and how to connect things. Um, because that's really the thinking that through and how to do it. Um, the bottoms of the front seats were the toughest to figure out how to connect all the straps. Once I figured it out. The second one was very easy. Um, the top part of the front seat is pretty easy. The rear seat, um, the, the right hand side or the driver's side that um, also includes um, the, the middle part, that's the hardest one to get in. Um, it's, it's tough to get the, the tab between the seats. 
Um, once you do, it's, it's pretty easy though. And then the bottom of the back seat, that's the easiest to upholster, um, but it is, it's a little challenging get in and out, in and out, and you need to make sure that you connect those wires and disconnect those wires. Um, you know, when you pull it out, in the video you'll see when I pulled it out, I didn't just rip the back seat out, I looked to see what wires were connecting. Otherwise, I mean, I'm happy with it. We'll see over time, see how it, whether it's, um, see how it lasts. Oh, white interior. I see lots of comments with many, um, you know, not just this brand, but many brands where people will comment, hey, this is, I got some ink on here, I got this on here, it's really hard to clean or it doesn't clean at all. I can tell you when these seat covers came in, um, whoever packed it had this against the headrest of one of the seats and this ink all bled onto the seat. Now at first I was going to send them back because I couldn't get the ink off with um, using light cleaners and I didn't want to um, damage the seat. But then I thought of trying to use a magic eraser. Um, that's the cleaning sponge that you use like on a white sink. And if you use a magic eraser, no water, no cleaners, just dry, and you rub that interior, it takes ink off. And I'm sure there's many different dirts that that magic eraser will take off um, to keep white interior clean. So that's something that you should really try because they're not expensive and um, very non-abrasive. So they're not going to damage the interior.